Hi guys, this is Mosh. If you're new here, click on that subscribe button. 88% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you're one of those, make sure you subscribe because this helps me out and encourages me to keep on making these videos. Today is going to be a portfolio update for February. If you don't know what I had before, make sure you check out my January portfolio update. It's in the cards and I'll link it in below as well. It's been a really interesting month, especially with GameStop and AMC. One thing I would really recommend is having more than one brokerage. So what happened with Trading212 and a couple of others, if you're in America, Robinhood as well, they stopped trading of GameStop and AMC. So it's always good to use more than one brokerage. If you want a free share worth up to £100, all you have to do is open a Trading212 account, deposit £1 and they'll give you a free share using my link below. Also, free trade is another brokerage that is free to use. If you want a free share worth up to £200, definitely go use my link below for that as well. That ensures you have access to two different brokerages just in case, for example, trading two on two a lot of times, especially this month, the servers have been going down. So if the servers are going down and you really want to buy stock, you can automate go to free trade, which is free to use, and you can buy your shares on free trade. Let's jump into my portfolio and see what has been happening. Now, if you remember from last time, I only had about five or six stocks. Um, I've got a lot more now and a few things have happened. All right, as you can see, my portfolio has gone above the 20,000 mark and my overall return is 47%. Now, bear in mind, I started trading and or investing, if you like, in April 2020. And I started with 500 pounds and it's gone over 20,000 pounds. All right, let's start off with Alibaba. I'm still holding that. Their earnings report came out on the 2nd of February and is very good. However, I was a bit surprised that the stock didn't go up as much as I thought it would have done. So I'm up 7.47%. Um, now I have looked at the pre-market trading and um, it is up another 4%. So I'm going to sell out over 10%. I was expecting a 20% return of Alibaba, but it didn't happen. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, I've recently bought Boohoo. Now if we go into this, and let's go, go into the one month time frame. I did buy it, well, I thought it was the end of the dip, but it carried on. So I am slightly down, you know, almost less than 1%. But Boohoo recently bought Debenhams. I think the future of retail is online. A lot of people have got used to shopping online. Even me, myself, you know, I buy clothes on ASOS. Um, I buy stuff on Amazon. Everything's pretty much online nowadays. So I think this is where the future is for the British retail market. And for Boohoo to acquire Debenhams, they, that allows them to move into different fields as well, like homeware, um, you know, perfumes, that sort of stuff. Okay, fuel cell, I'm still holding. If you watch my January portfolio, that was around 196%, something like that. Now it's around 300%, which is really, really good. I know at one point it's like 360%. Um, so fuel cell is always a good one. And even now, I still think it's a good investment and I may pump more money into it. Okay, I just got a birthday message. <laughs> it is my birthday. The next one is IAG. IAG, um, it went down due to another like lockdown and the new COVID uh, variant, South African variant, you know, Brazilian variant. So airlines is taking really long to recover. Last month, it was up 70%. I mean, I really should have sold out then or sold a portion of it but I decided to hold on and now I'm going to carry on holding on. If it does get to 70%, I might sell out IAG. Okay, iShares Global Clean Energy ETF. That's again for me a long-term hold. Um, it has dropped a little bit. So it was up around £14. It's dropped to around £13 now. But again, 5-10 years time, it's going to be worth a lot more. All right, Pineapple Power Corp. This was one of my penny stocks I talked about last month. Um, I think last month I was down about 15%. It was minus 15%. As you can see, it's at 100%. Now, there was a point where it got to 130%. Um, but for me, I'm only going to sell this. No matter what happens, I'm only selling this once they acquire a vanadium battery company. Okay. Um, I had Powerhouse back last year around may june time it was trading about three pence 
Um, I held on and the stock was a moving for a good two months. So I just got rid of it. Um, but I've gone back into it again and I'm going to keep on buying it because I think as an environmental standpoint, it's a good company for the UK and it's something that has a lot of potential for growth because people are going to produce waste. So what they do, they turn that waste into electricity. Next up is Rolls Royce. Now I have been making profit on Rolls Royce throughout this year, to be honest. Um, last time I made, I think like 150 pound profit. It took a dip, then it went back up. Now it's taken another dip and I do really think it is gonna increase in its share price. As you can see, it's taken a massive, massive hit. It's under one pound now. Rolls-Royce is a solid British engineering company and once the airlines recover and they can start servicing um, aeroplanes and stuff like that again, I think it's one of those that will recover. It's a very strong British brand. Next up is Sunrun. Sunrun is a uh, solar company and they develop and install and allow people to own solar panels to generate electricity with. The reason I bought this is because, you know, solar energy is the future. America is a little bit behind, especially with renewables. Joe Biden has recently gone back into the Paris Climate Change Accord. That should help out renewable energy stocks. Now, as you can see, it had a big climb around the start of Jan to about $96 and I bought it around $70. I expect it to go to back to around $90. Once it goes back to $90, I may sell out. Tortoise Acquisition Corp is a SPAC. Um, I think this is a really good SPAC. I like it. Um, hopefully, I'm expecting a 20% return and then I'm going to sell out. Okay, this is probably my biggest lagger on my portfolio. Venus Concept. Um, they're a medical stock. Now the company is good. Um, they do quite a lot of innovative things, but I don't know why it's dropped so much. Um, but as I said, it's not, it's not too much of a worry because I didn't put much into it. I'm down 62 pounds um, and overall 18, 17%. Another lagger on my portfolio is Zame Credit Systems. What they do is this is a company that um, give out small loans up to like I think 300 rubles in Russia. And the loan maturity is around like 30 days. Um, it's a good concept. However, it is lagging on my portfolio. So I may sell out when it gets to break even. Now in terms of my crypto account, I actually sold out Ethereum for a profit. So if we jump into my Blockfolio account, um, it was a 17% gain after fees, okay? So that was pretty healthy. Plus 347 pounds, I made Ethereum. Once it takes another drop, I'm gonna buy back into it. And my Bitcoin, if I go to my profit and loss, okay, I'm up 632 pounds or a 17% gain, which is pretty healthy. I hope you enjoyed this update. Make sure you go like and subscribe because that allows me to figure out what type of content you guys enjoy. And make sure you're subscribed, thank you.